Well, the excitement for today is we are going for a bit of a bit of a road trip. Fee's on the back, and we are going to Chandy Dasa up uh, up the eastern uh, eastern coast, about an hour and a half, two hours from from Dempsey. And uh, we're going up to uh, check out Parley Palms Resort. So I'll let you know how we go. Hey, enjoy the enjoy the touring. You know I wrote the book. I'm moving along from somebody wrong. So go ahead, tell me all the ways you miss it. How you want me back in your bed? But I'm not around for hearing you out. I, I gave it so much honestly, and you closed the door. Now you're calling me, but I don't need you anymore Yeah, I already know better 24K got nothing on me Make you want it forever Tryna play a game, but you don't play for keeps Messing with a girl from the east side, yeah Chasing a ghost who don't try I'm tired of the shelf, but you have to sell to somebody else It's too late Don't really care about all of your mistakes You were out of your league in the first place Not even surprised that you let me down, down, down I gave you too much honestly and you closed the door Many trucks on this road. This guy's doing about 40 kilometers an hour and almost no chance to pass because there's too much traffic and no passing zones. It makes a short journey much longer, but it's a beautiful day to drive. No hurry, and there's no point killing yourself just to get there five minutes early. beautiful air conditioned we're looking straight out to the ocean yes <laughs> mum bringing all the, all the, oh, the clothes in you got a lovely little kitchenette here 
full size fridge. Plenty of nice guy out there. Nice little bathroom here. And yeah, that takes you back to the bedroom. Or you can come back around this way. Oh, look at that. Looking straight out over the ocean. How stunning. Just lovely. This is a beautiful place. Um, I'm, I'm a bit surprised. Look, Chandy Dessa feels like it's a long way away and the traffic can be pretty bullish sometimes. There's a lot of trucks on the road. If you pick the time of day, look, we were really lucky today because it's coming up to Ramadan, so a lot of vehicles are off the road or heading over to J uh, Jakarta or Java or other places. Um, and so apparently it's absolute bedlam on the other side of the island on the west coast where the ferries go across to... Uh, to, to Java and there's one and a half million vehicles waiting for a ferry trip either way So I look in a week's time. I don't think I want to be going anywhere in Bali because it's just gonna be insane So what a better place to get stuck than here in Chandi Dasa. It is it's only a hundred and I think Hundreds or not even a hundred k's. I think up from from Sanua. I think it was only about 60 something k's um, and look, that'll take an hour generally because some of the trucks are doing about 40 kilometers an hour. But say an hour and a half if you took your time and took it easy. And with bad traffic, if you're allowed two hours of just cruising through rainforests and, and tropical jungles and little villages, and then you get up to here and you've just got the most beautiful, picturesque city. Now, there's a lot to do in Chandy Dasa. A lot of diving, a lot of uh, snorkeling, look at this absolute learn to dive in the pool i might see if i can get fee to have a go at the pool and here we go looks beautiful already i'm looking forward to this i hope they've got cold beers <laughs> i reckon they will have so beautiful say <laughs> so incredible band or well, one man band here he's having a ball i've been seeing a couple of mariachi songs with him as well this place is just amazing honestly it's right on the edge of the highway on one side of the highway on the other side you got this beautiful water now it's low tide so you've got all the all the reef and all the the, the rocks and everything but there's boats going past. It's just, it's like being on like a, a remote Fiji island. Look at it, it doesn't, it doesn't look like you're in, you're in the same place as Kuta or Legion. It just, if you're on a holiday where you think you've gone somewhere else, this is probably the place to do it. Now, now listen, I heard the best thing about Chandy Dasa tonight, which is something that a lot of people might overlook, but I want to tell you about it several people including a couple of ladies who live here um, and Western ladies have turned around and said this is one of the few places that they've been in Bali that they feel that they can walk up and down the main road at two o'clock in the morning and have no problems at all there's no crime there's almost nothing goes wrong over here now I'm not saying just drop your guard and, <laughs> and go for broke but imagine going to a place back in time before stupidity hit the mark beautiful restaurants Incredible accommodations, just a lovely area. There's a heap of ladies down there on the water, playing in the rock pools, taking photos, doing the whole selfie stuff. It's just so beautiful. 
some some incredible music coming out quite a few beers oh, three <laughs> maybe four um i haven't ever spent any time other than to drive through and, and stop and buy some chicken or or a bit of petrol so i'm really looking forward to finding out what is there to do in chandy dasa now if you've read my other videos <laughs> watch my other videos anything with a c at the front like the word cat over here would be chat um <laughs> so candy dasa is chandy dasa changu is 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 spelt kangu so a c sound sounds like a chirp chandy dasa it's only apparently it's like 35 k's up the road from sanua oh i honestly thought it was like oh 100 k's or more i honestly thought because sometimes the traffic's a little bit busy but you're winding away around the around the, the coast and you've got these beautiful mountain passes you've got some incredible like um rainforest jungle or rice paddy sort of fields and, and agricultural areas and yes there's a bit of trucks and there's a few vehicles on the road and sometimes it can take a while to get through here but i tell you what i came on the low season because ramadan's on so there's not many vehicles over here at the moment and it took me like 40 minutes to get here it was beautiful so if you want to come somewhere that's not too far from let's let's say civilization this is a perfect place to spend a bit of extra time like some people don't like i love noosa Lembonga. i love going over there because it's such a lazy such a laid back and such a beautiful place but some people don't like that some people don't like the boat road to get in but if you follow that road around the coast you'll end up in Sanua and you can do it on a scooter with no dramas at all there's a million buses and 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 truck or vehicles transport that'll bring you up here for for next to nothing and probably cheaper than you'll get for a for three or four people to go jump on a on a boat and go across the harbour so as an alternative to going off island and going to somewhere like Lambong and Chenigan, Nusa Panita, uh, Gili or, or any of those other islands, um, have, a, have a good think about Chandy Dasa. And a little bit further up the highway, you've got Ahmed. It's one of my favorite places on the planet. I'll tell you what, the more I'm finding out about this place here, the more I'm really, really glad I was invited up here. So I hope you enjoy what we're gonna, we're gonna wake up early tomorrow. We're going for a bit of a cruise and we're going to find out what makes what makes Chandy Dasa so magic. I'm looking forward to finding the answer to that and, um, and I hope you guys are too. So thanks for being a part of the journey. I'll talk to you tomorrow.